Hello, Mr. Niren here. Welcome to a new Let's Play. We are playing Gladiator Begins. A game for the PlayStation Portable, released in 2010. Probably developed between 2009 and 2010. <coughs> by the company Acquire Corp. Licensed and published by Axis Games. It's a Gladiator game. Similar to the TV show Spartacus. I watched that TV show a lot as a, as a, back in 2010. And I was like 20 years old. It, it, I believe it aired between 2010 and 2013. Three seasons plus a prequel se series. And I watched all of it. I believe I watched first every season alone in my apartment. And then I watched at least a few episodes with my cousin. And I watched the first season with my sister. And then I watched all three seasons with my late father. So I watched... Uh, I watched also, I believe, uh, at least the first season, and I, uh, we're in a, uh, I believe I studied uh, back in 2010, I watched it with some friends, at least the first season. The best season, it had uh, the best main character. Uh, of course, the character is the same, but the actor died. Uh, he got cancer and died, so, so the, the show was still good. Uh, after he passed away, but but that actor was the best uh, at playing the main character. Okay, so this game is similar to Spartacus. You choose a female or male gladiator, and then you get to you know compete in the arena and give the character new gear, level him up or her. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. And you can also play multiplayer, but. The, the leveling up stuff is single player then you can play uh, it's a PlayStation portable game PSP game I'm using a, PSP, a, a PSP emulator on the computer to play it so the graphics will be better than if I play it on my PlayStation portable I have two PlayStation portables uh, but I'm using the computer now to record the game and to play it with better graphics the emulator's name is PPSSPP uh, and uh, it's possible to play the game if you have two um, PSPs. You can uh, play with a friend uh, or against a friend. I believe there can be four warriors at once in an arena, at least in single player. I don't know if multiplayer has four or if it's uh, simply one versus one. Uh, in on the computer, you can play local multiplayer. It's also possible to play on the on, on an Android phone uh, because the PPS PP emulator has a Android compatible version uh, but it's more difficult to, to enable the phone uh, for multiplayer I believe it needs to be connected uh, through the phone if you are to play multiplayer between phones and it's difficult to do I think the, the PSP is easy you just play your Wi-Fi uh, as it already is integrated into the PlayStation Portable and uh, the PPSS PP emulator has local multiplayer, very easy to activate. You just start more than one instance of the emulator, then you can play. The problem is that you get a smaller screen. You can't you can't play with a full screen if if you play multiplayer. So two players means uh, the screen will be cut in half, and four players then it will be cut in four. <coughs> you can also play multiplayer online I believe uh, using a computer but it needs to be connected over the phone and I tried to do that but I failed so the only multiplayer I can do is between my two PSPs or locally on the computer I tried to connect to the phone but uh, I failed okay we will see the intro of this game <coughs> it will start automatically if I just wait a bit the battle arena is the multiplayer area. You can fight a friend with the characters you have leveled up. So if a friend has leveled up a character and you have, then you can fight each other. Took a long time. It's the year of ancient Empire of Rome, ruled by Marcus Aurelius Antonius Augustus. His wisdom and skill at politics earned him a place among the five good emperors, but old age has at last caught up to him, 
and he has fallen ill during a campaign, the people whisper that the fate of Rome itself will rest in the hands of the next emperor. Exactly who would become the next emperor becomes the cause of much strife, because Marcus' son Commodus and the governor so chaos crept over clo ever closer behind him. The co-emperor Lucius Verus. Ah, uh, sorry. I w I won't be able to read this. They they removed the text too soon. <clears throat> uh, so English is my second language. So of course, if I really tried, I could probably do it, but it's a bit difficult to, to read all the text uh, before. It disappears. I suggest reading it for yourselves. So it's like a background story. All right. Now we're back in the menu. So I had already done the creation part of a character, but then I realized the game wasn't recording. Let's click on new game. So uh, I have downloaded a package for the game called Downloadable Content or DLC. There is DLC for PlayStation Portable games, at least some of them. And uh, previously I believe I played this game in February or, or some, some somewhere around that time. I played as a female gladiator. I leveled her up quite a bit. Unfortunately I managed to replace the save. Because when I downloaded the DLC, I believe it followed a save file, save file, and the character got overwritten. Unfortunately, so I need to start all over again. Uh, so we can ver um, choose name, and we can choose origins. So um, Greece, we have Gallia, which is Gaul, <coughs> which is the area of France, but the people there are the same people that are in Ireland. We have Britannia, uh, the Britons of uh, England or, or Britain, Hispania, that's the barbarians in Spain, Dacia, that's a barbarian tribe, next to I believe uh, Thrace and uh, Macedon. We have Thracia, they are neighbors of Dacia and Macedon, another barbarian tribe. We have Germania, it's like the Norse before the Viking Age, during the Roman Age, the, the, the area was called Germania. But it wasn't just Germans, it was uh, pretty much, uh, I believe, uh, the Germans, the Danes, the Swedes, the Norwegians, all of them, I believe, were uh, like Germania. Germania, I believe. The media, that's like African uh, nomads. And Portia, Portia, that's Persia, before they became Persia, which is uh, Iran, before it became Iran. And then we have Rome, of course. We'll choose, choose Germania. And uh, we will uh, take a look at the characters. We, we can uh, the body types. So we have standard male, we have muscular male. Standard male look like this. And we have standard female. I believe I used this previously. I will use the muscular female now. There are some differences, not very visible. The muscular one is more fitting for a gladiator game. Then there were a few new body types that followed with the DLC. So we have the beast woman. I would never play this one. I'm not a fan of these uh, yoke characters with tails and such. And the uh, vivid beast women, similar, with different, more colorful gear. We have Ella. This one actually I like because she she looked cool. She looked like an anime character. And I have no idea who Ella is, but I like the hairstyle and her gear. She looked cool. I don't know who she is. And then we have uh, the robot gladiator. I would never play this one. It reminds me of some Star Wars character. And we have the samurai. It would be pretty cool playing as a samurai. 
<clears throat> so it's like if a samurai ever arrived in Rome take part in the gladiator games so you can play as a Japanese samurai here and then we have Venus probably some kind of female god or just a girl with the name of god gladiator name she looked decent I liked um, her hair um, but I'm not sure this one I think looked great well, this remind me of like Final Fantasy or something so I was gonna use muscular female this one would be cool too Or this one. So we would of course change the color of her hair. Such I will take a look at her. We can't. Ah, she is set in stone. We need to look like that if we take that one. Ah, these characters are fixed. We can't change them. This one is really cool. I believe they can still get new gear in the game. Could be, be wrong, of course. Ah, we will like, go for the muscular female, as I originally intended. Type Okay, we have uh, different faces here. This one is decent. I think I had a perfect one. like Callisto from Xena Warrior Princess, another show that I were a huge fan of as a kid. This face is the best one for that, so we'll go for it. Fortunately there is no hairstyle that fits. Most of the hairstyles are short haired. They weren't very smart, the developers, when it comes to hairstyles there. Should have gone for sexy hairstyles instead. I know it's a gladiator game, but as a male player, I prefer hot uh, characters over manly characters, even if they are female and supposed to fight in the arena. Okay. This is decent, but I, I like uh, long hair. Of course, they wouldn't use long hair in the arena in real life. But you know, Xena Warrior Princess, everyone had long hair it makes sense for a game could go for this hairstyle it's the closest we will get I believe to what I wanted I've never used bald so either this one this one would fit Callisto with blonde of course she had such a look, but uh, I, I want either that one I just showed or this one. This one would have been perfect if it didn't have like a ponytail. Okay. It's either this one or the other one. I believe I use this with the old character. I think we'll go for this one again. Then we'll change the hair color. Alright. We want the 
Champion in Strength affects your damage, dealt and weight limits, so you can carry more. And we want 5 Endurance, affects your Endurance to allow more skill attacks. Fine. Vitality, affects your Constitution to endure more damage. So one bad thing with this game is that you do not have... Uh, do not have actual uh, an open world where you can move and such. It was a PlayStation 2 game set before this game where you couldn't play multiplayer and where you couldn't have female gladiators where you were forced to use uh, a single guy <coughs> but uh, that had like an open world and such. Uh, I don't know if it was an open world but you, you could run around and speak to people and such. In this game you can't. <coughs> Instead you you or um, you click on various menus, then you go to different areas based on wh where you click, and then the only 3D parts of the game are the battles. So, so you'll fight cool battles in the game, with 3D models, but everything else is just uh, 2D, I believe. Well, the PS2 game had like uh, more of a, uh, like areas where you could run around but you couldn't be a female and you couldn't pick your looks for the male you had a fixed character which sucked I wish this one had an open world would have been awesome okay uh, by the way muscular female do we really want that do we want standard is a little bit bigger she is muscular boobs are bigger with muscular too she is a little bit slimy uh, I mean uh, slimier if she is I believe I used this previously. This makes more sense for a warrior. Yeah, I think we'll go for the muscular one. Do I want this hairstyle is the question. Maybe not. Maybe I want it slightly lighter. Check this one. A red hair too, like Velasca. Nah, 
we want the blonde. Problem is, there is no good blonde color in the game. Okay, the hair. I mean the name. So select, we will bring forth the big letter. Letters. Then we will name the character. <clears throat> so select, we go back to smaller letters. Callisto will be the character name. Select on X, I <coughs> um, <coughs> delete on circle. You can change the, the um, I believe the language of the letters on L and R. <coughs> okay, list uh, we need an O. Okay, and start, we will finish. Gladiator from Germania called Callisto proceed yes. <coughs> so it's been a long time since I played, but a couple of months I will need to re relearn play the game. <coughs> yeah the blonde colors are not good. And ends up looking orange. This is very inspired by Spartacus. You can see the instructor is black. You can read the text if you want. Heed my training and you shall not find yourself among their number. Now then, let us see who among you is the most promising. You, you shall be first. Running. Let's start with the basics of movement. Use the analog stick to run in any direction. Go on. Run around. I'm not happy that the hair color ended up orange. You might need to restart the game. Running complete. You're vulnerable right now. <coughs> Excuse me. You are vulnerable right when you start running. So be careful. Running around in front of the enemy can be dangerous. You'll be attacked during those moments that you're vulnerable. Right hand equipment. If you don't wish to die, keep a weapon. Press right on the directional button to pick up a weapon and equip it to your right hand. If there is nothing by your feet, you will drop what you have in your right hand. Alright, done. Right hand equipping complete. Good. Now you've equipped the weapon. You can also press down on the directions button. On the directional button to automatically pick up and put on equipment in the most appropriate place. You can also press down on the directional buttons to automatically pick up and put on equipment in the most appropriate place. Nice. High attack. Press triangle button to hit high. This allows you to aim for an opponent's head. If you manage to strike, you can deal a lot of damage. High attack complete. Excellent. If your opponent has no helmet, aim for the head. Even if your opponent has a helmet, keep attacking it to remove it. Right attack. Press circle button to attack with your right hand. This will strike the left side of your opponent. Try it out. Right attack complete. Excellent. The right attack can remove whatever the opponent has equipped on his left arm. Remove his shield and you have leave him defenseless. Low attack. Press X button to aim low and attack your opponent's feet. Try that. All 
right, low attack complete, good, good. Even if the opponent is heavily armored, if their legs are wide open, this will be very effective. You can also remove their skin guards, shin guards this way. Left attack, press square button to attack with your left hand. This will strike the right side of your opponent, try it out. Left attack complete. Excellent. The left attack can remove whatever the opponent has equipped on his right arm. Move the, his weapon and take it for yourself. Alright. Oh, also, this game is bloody. It's really nice blood effects. It is like Spartacus in that sense too. I believe the game was inspired by Spartacus. It's a really cool game. Try out everything you have learned. Press the select button to start combat training. Okay. Combat training. Now remember what I taught you today. Show me what manner of gladiator you are. I shall test you personally. Ready? Fight! Come on now! Don't miss and don't get hit. kind of disappointed that she didn't look blonde in the battle. <sighs> Maybe we need to have it more strongly colored. Director, what I have taught you today is only the bare minimum. You must now... Uh, your last time Megirius has arrived. Stand tall. Ah, uh, we are damaged. You look pitiful, the lot of you. You were all blooded. Hey, Magirius, this loot is, is mine. Gladiators that train here are mine. I am the Lannister, Lannister who has purchased East, each and every one of you. As you can see, my Ludus is empty. <coughs> I lost many gladiators in the last game. I decided to begin anew. Do you understand why you are here? Because you are here. Slave traders have pockets that click with coin, my coin. Do you understand that money was not easily earned, nor was it easily spent? <coughs> I cannot that you are not gladiators, not yet. I shall work you until you cough blood. Should you earn me money enough to cover what you cost and are yet alive, then you are born to be a gladiator. Warriors blessed by the gods can sometimes earn a better place in society, and perhaps even their freedom through the rooms ruling class deem them worthy. Whether or not such good fortune will befall you is your choice. Good. Now let the gladiatorial games begin. We leave the Voluptas Arena. Hurry. In the carriage. Voluptas Arena. Voluptas Arena. They had defeated a very difficult character, Megarius. Today's event is known as the Glory of Campania. It is hosted by a man known as Pomponius. Pomponius is a senator with an excellent reputation. He often becomes excited during gladiatorial games. A great number of gladiators have found a, a willing patron in Pomponius after he noticed them in, a, in the arena. Make sure to listen to his every word with care. <coughs> Ponies, well, I welcome you, gladiators. The gladiator, if the gladiator is not a symbol of the glory and power of Rome, then what is? The strong have gathered here from throughout the vast territories of Rome. These battles bring virtue to Rome and, her, and to our citizens. Even the satirical po uh, pes, uh, sorry, 
Even the satirical poet, poet Luvenalis was entranced by the games, but of course that is only natural. After all, these games brim with the power of glory of humanity, the humanity I wish to see in its most exalted state in the glory of Campania. I pray there is a gladiator among you worthy of my attention. May Mars be with you. Now, let me see an excellent game. Alright, we have three or tries left. I believe characters can die in this game, but we can heal them too. So we can participate, we have Status, we have Callisto, Quirtus Paulus, Class, um, Low, Status, Slave, Vitality, 15, Endurance, 15, Strength, 20, Health Points, 60, Stamina, 65, Weight, 38 out of 70, Depth, we have a lot of depth, we have zero money, item box, we have the Greek Galea, Gladius and Wooden Shield, this is how we look now, now we look better, here we have um, the right hair color, she has a shield, a sword and a helmet, not much of an armor, Skill panel, you can learn skills, smash, burn to back thrust, push. Okay, and there are a lot of new skills we can learn. You can heal wounds here. But you need a diagnosis? No, we don't. Yeah, we need no treatment armor. You can buy gear, purchase new, purchase old. Sell items, refine. We don't need to do that, we'll participate. And we have a bunch of choices. Lord Glory of Campania, Organizer Pomponius, Relation, Three Stars, Show, Show One Team Battle. The unfortunate newcomers have returned. Will they survive and take another step towards freedom? Or shall their lives end here? Their blood uh, wetting the sand of the arena. Let us find out. By the way, I highly recommend Spartacus, the TV series, and the prequel series too. But the first season is the best one, so that's the one I highly recommend. Then the, the rest of the series is good too. I, I still think you should watch the entire series, but the first season is it's, it's a 10 out of 10. And the, and the others, they are at least 8 out of 10. Okay. We have a team battle arena, battle royale, duel 2 and 2, and team battle. We can only choose the team battle now. So we'll pick it, here yeah, we'll participate. A moment. Megirius says, your task is in this event shall pit you against a gladiator who has uh, won many games before this one. Should you survive, you sh shall receive a virtual reward. Fight with care, you shall have an ally in the ring with you. <coughs> now, breathe deep and remember what your trainer has taught you. May Mars himself guide your blade. Let's see how this will go. I read that there were like a new game coming, uh, similar to this game, but with modern graphics. I don't know when it will come. I read about it like a year ago or so. I will look it up uh, after I've done this video. I'm interested in what happened to the game. It would be cool with a modern game like this, but with more of a open world or something where you can run around and speak to people. Here's our character, Callisto. Okay. And we have an ally and three enemies. So 
this game is a very detailed uh, battle system. You can really become good at this game. Uh, it has a lot of skills you can learn and uh, moves, but currently I only know the basics. But I became quite good at it a few months back. There are some really difficult opponents in the game. Could let our ally fight to the death. We need to kill this guy. Think our ally will have to fight that guy. I don't really care too much. Move in there. Have uh, we won? Or are they managed to win? I wanted the enemy to kill our ally, so we would be alone in the ring. Greatest hit chain, 7, somewhat accurate attacks, has some potential. Okay. We can select some items here. This one is the most uh, worth. Um, yes, I will take those items. See, you survived. Perhaps you were not a waste of my money after all. <coughs> I haven't any more work for you today. There's little you can do now. Once you've advanced a little, there will be more available to you. You are a veteran now, and thus Quartus Palace. As you increase in rank, you'll find more coin in your pocket as well. Now, survive many more games and fill my pockets too. The cool thing with this game is that when you have a good character, and if a friend has that, then you can duel each other. And for example, if I have two characters, I can have them fight each other. And I believe I can also place both under AI control. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. <coughs> okay, day one. <coughs> Lord of Campania results. Team battle, price 3062A, AP 10, unrequired, uh, we have 3062 out of 20,000 required, we are still counted as class low, okay, <coughs> and we are still a slave, day 2, <coughs> instructor, so you have survived, then I see your training has served you well. Excellent, I shall teach you today what I could not yesterday. Concentrate. Styles. Depending on what you equip on your arms, your style will change. Four styles are single hand sword, shield, dual sword and pugilist. <coughs> pugilist style. You will use the pugilist style when unarmed or using pugilist weapons. Your attacks are quick, but your defense suffers and you have no range. This is a risky style to use. Use the single sword style. <coughs> equip a weapon on your right hand and equip anything except the sword on, or, or a large shield or, uh, or a large shield on your left. Keep it free for the single sword style. Now pick up the sword. Okay, we'll pick up the sword. Single sword style. This is the most common style used by gladiators. Using a small shield on your left arm will provide a good balance of offense and defense. Learn this style before any other. <coughs> equipment stripping. You can strip the enemy of their equipment by striking it repeatedly. Sparks will fly when you hit equipment, while blood will spurt when you hit their bodies. 
Remove the enemy's helmet. To remove the enemy's helmet, use the triangle button to attack high. Now try it out. Hit the enemy's helmet, remove it. Press triangle button for maximum effect. Okay, we'll do that. And we succeeded. Helmet removed. Good, keep it up. Now that the enemy's head is bare, hitting their head with a high attack can deal large amounts of damage. Helmet. Press up on the directional buttons to equip a fallen helmet on your head. If there is no helmet nearby, you will drop whatever you have on your head instead. You need protection on your head. Always wear a helmet. Helmet equipping complete. You have done it. Pressing down on the direction, directional buttons will automatically put on a piece of equipment in the most appropriate place. Remember that. Move the enemy's shield. To remove what the enemy has in their left hand, use the circle button to attack from your right. The durability of equipment gradually recovers, so you must continue attacking. Alright, we will just spam circle to remove the shield. Yeah, I believe you need to be from from the front too. I need to hit the shield. More difficult than I thought to hit the shield. Difficult to hit the shield, it's easier to hit him. Okay. That's annoying. Finally, disarming successful. Well done. After removing the shield, many of your attacks will now hit directly. This will give you a significant advantage. Use the shield style. Pick up a large shield and equip it on your left hand. With a weapon on your right hand and a large shield on your, on your left hand, you will use the shield style. Done. Shield style. The best feature of this style is its defensive capabilities, of course. The Lord Shield can protect you from all sorts of attacks. It will, however, slow you down as well. Disarm the enemy. To strip the enemy of their weapons, use the square button to attack from your left. The durability of equipment gradually recovers, so you, you must continue attacking. Good. Disarming successful. Well done. Hitting what the enemy has in their right hand can throw them off balance easily. Be sure to remember that. Use the dual sword style. After equipping weapons on both hands, you can use the dual sword style. Now press left on the directional buttons to pick up the sword. You will drop the shield if you have one. Uh, yeah, we will drop it and we will pick up the other sword. Dual sword style. Now that you have a weapon on your left hand, you have increased the range of your attacks. But this style can only be used by the by those who can conquer the fear of not having a shield. Try out everything you have learned. Press the select button to start the combat training. Sure. Combat training. So, that is the style of you have chosen. Very well. Show me what you ca you're capable of. Ready. Fight. Okay. Fuck you. It has really nice battles, this game. It's just a frame that it lacks uh, a 
an actual area where you can move around and speak to people and such. I mean, uh, an area with 3D models and not just uh, 2D stuff or uh, dialogue and, and a menu. But it's a PSP game. Of course, if it was on the PlayStation 3 or something, it would have had um, uh, an open world or something. Fuck you. I need to learn how to block and stuff. I believe you can block in this game too, but we haven't reached that far yet. Good, we won. Victory. Ugh, have you never learned how to hold back? Ah, do not forget to distribute the ability point AP you earned yes in yesterday's games. Press the square button in the status screen to enhance your abilities. See that you do this before you fight in the next game. I wish you luck. I like that they are blooded and such after fight. Okay, skill panel. Status. Item box. We can change stuff here. Really cool game. Have a bunch of stuff equipped already. Include B, include A. Okay, rotate, select. Scootum, wooden shield. Wooden scoot wood scootum is better, but I can't equip it for some reason. Dead. Gladius. I already have the Gladius. A wooden sword, but it's not as good. Ah. Here we have a better look at our equipment. Clothes B. We can't change. Okay, wooden shield. Ah, we'll change to that shield. That is, we already have a good weapon. Okay. Yeah, I think we're done. That we have this cool new shield now. It looks like this. Could look like this too. Okay. I think this is. Uh, more interesting, we can also change the colors. Could do that, we could also use this. They have different colors.
type it this. So this is the character now. It's fine with me. Skill panel. I have not learned any new skills. My room. Interesting. Statistics, Callisto, time restriction no, days past two, number of matches one, difficult to normal, highest price money gain 3062, total price money 3062, greatest hit chain 7, accuracy rate 69%, okay, mutation has some potential, nickname, Quartus Palace Train Status Enforceability Have ten points. Let's do that. Train Ready Fight I don't know how to guard in this game I just stand towards him with the shield. I love the the way battles work in it. It's a really good uh, fighting system. Take a while to get used to it. It's nice that the trainer or instructor is black too, just like in Spartacus. So it's really heavily inspired. Yeah, I believe on L2 I block. Also do it on L1, I believe. It's easy to run around on L2. No, it's the same because the PlayStation Portable only had uh, one button for L, I believe. It had an L1 and L an R1. I said wrong. I used uh, L R1 actually, not L1, but R1. And the uh, R1 and, uh, and the L2. Uh, I believe the two buttons on the PlayStation 4 controller I'm using uh, works the same as the first button. Look at blood we are now. And I believe characters can die too, so we need to heal them. This is training, so she won't die in this battle, but she can die in the arena. And I, don't, I think we lose her if she dies. But we can heal her. Before that happens. Fuck you. There is some, uh, it seems he has unlimited health. We can't uh, 
press select button to end the training session. I see. Ah, we can we can push forward too. Let's see, we can run around uh, with the shield like this. Uh, and I see. So, so R one uh, we move slowly with the shield up, and L one we can uh, tackle. And we can also run around with the shield. Okay. I really love the, the blood and stuff. It looks great. Feels like Spartacus. There was a Spartacus game, by the way, with really good graphics for the PlayStation 3. But it was online, and I believe the servers were taken down, so it's no longer available but I believe there are videos on YouTube from the game it was similar to this game but but with characters from Spartacus and way better graphics because it was a PlayStation 3 game but I believe it also only had the uh, battles it didn't have any open world or anything but you could play as the characters from the show uh, unfortunately the, the game disappeared for the people that had downloaded it too when they removed the servers so it's no longer Available anywhere. Oh, we lost the fucking helmet. He disarmed me. Okay, I think we're done. Status. Yeah, full health. Good. I think we should save. Kill the normal. Yes, let's save the game. And then we'll go to the world map. Go to the show. Yes, we want to fight some battles. The Atelius Arena. Magirius, here we are. Today an event known as the Smile of Bellona is being held. The Drusus family is hosting the event and Lady Aquila will be leading the opening, opening ceremony. She comes from a family of generals, you know. You do well to get yourself noticed. Be sure to listen carefully. Aquila, greetings all. I welcome you to the Smile of Bellona. My father, General Drusus, has held this event for many years in celebration of my birth. Seek to better yourself in the, in the arena. The gladiator who proves to be truly strong may be given the honor of serving the Drusus family. Alright. Agirius says she may be somewhat temperamental, uh, but they say she is quite generous to gladiators who catch her fancy. Show her what you're made of. Sure. And uh, we have armor here. I think we'll just participate. Survival Hero, the title given to the warrior that strikes down tens, no hundreds of enemies. Shall one of these gladiators earn the title hero? In Battle Royal, gladiators, warriors who devote their lives to the art of war, warriors who continue to own their skills, who shall, shall remain and who shall fall. I think we'll go for the survival. Let's uh, participate. Have a new look now. Uh, we are alone against three. Fucker. I wonder if I can jump somewhere. I 
motherfucker hög mig från sidan från 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 the back Need to take out that guy Fuck I don't know what happened Maybe I just needed to hold out for a certain amount of time. Great assist, chain 6, somewhat accurate attacks, unable to dodge all, simply disappointing. Yeah, it didn't go too well. Ten new nickname, anticipated. Let's participate again, but we'll check our status. We do not have that much he hit po health points, let's participate again. Battle Royal, yes. Everyone against everyone, maybe. Hopefully, not everyone against me. That would suck. Let the, the others kill each other. It's fine. I know it's not because it's on time. You need to kill. Okay. Somewhat accurate attacks, unable to dodge all, simply disappointing. Yeah, it didn't go too well, unfortunately. We didn't die. Okay. Nothing memorable. Sucked. Well, we'll do better the next time. Okay. Let's check status. 68 health points, participate, no shows. Okay, skill panel. Ah, we don't need that one. Status. Stable. Ah, it went very bad. Day three. So you have survived many games. Clearly, you have taken my teachings to heart. Now we shall continue from where we left off yesterday. Come. Charge attack. Hold the triangle button to use the charge attack. This powerful attack can throw the enemy off balance. As if I hold the triangle, I will strike harder. Okay. We can also use uh, the shield. Charge attacks are successful. Charge attacks can be par can't be par parried. Not only that, but you can combo quickly afterwards for more damage. If you let go of the button too early, it will be a normal high attack, so be careful. Active skill. Active skills are special attacks that consume stamina when used. They are more powerful than regular attacks. Try them out. Hold the L button plus attack button to use an active skill. L button. Fuck, I didn't want that. Ah, 
Uh, we can uh, here we can also rotate the camera like this. I hold R1 and then I move to the to the right with the square button and uh, to the other side with the, the circle button. Hold L button plus the tag button. I see we can also move the camera always back behind the character. The L button, I don't know which button that is. Ah. Need to do it three times. Active skill successful. You can change what skills you use at the skill panel. Also, when using active skills, your stamina will not recover for a brief moment. Keep that in mind. Skill shift. Following up a regular attack with an active skill is called a skill shift. You can prevent yourself from being open to attacks with this technique. After doing a regular attack, hold the L button plus attack button to use an active skill. Skill shift successful. In the simplified mode, you can automatically do skill shift without holding the L button, but this is more of a preference. Change that setting in the pause menu. <coughs> okay. Fatigue attack. <coughs> Have you ever tried to use an active skill but saw an attack where you swung in a wide arc instead? That's the fatigue attack. It happens when you exhaust your stamina. If you're out of stamina, holding the L button plus the attack button will unleash the fatigue attack. Holding the L button plus the attack button. really know what to do. Maybe the controller isn't exactly as it should. It says holding the L button. So I am holding the L button. Ah. Ah, now I understand. Create everything you have learned. Press the select button to start combat training. Combat training. Everything I taught you today is important. Show me your metal. Do not hold back. Ready. Fight. Here. 
Yeah, I don't like doing those special attacks. Because I suck at doing them. Holding the L button and stuff. I believe the controllers are correct, but uh, uh, it's annoying to do. Good, finally, you won. Victory. It shall be the death of me. Hmm. Have you learned a skill yet? Make sure to keep appropriate skills in your skill panel before the game commences. As with abilities, you simply press the square button at the skill panel to enhance your skills. Consider your choices with care. I wish you luck. Smash, run to back, thrust, push. Okay, we already have that. Status. Reinforce ability. 12 new points. We'll, um, fix your endurance to allow more skill attacks. Fix your constitution to endure more damage. <sighs> I think you can save and then we go to the world map map go to the show yes Gyrius says, we arrived. The Lannister here is a man known as Brosius. Brosius is quite a man. He was once a gladiator and slave himself, but he bought his freedom and now has many patrons. Enough to hold his own event. He's an interesting man. Perhaps I shall introduce you later. For now, fight well and catch his eye. The former gladiator is adept. He's adept at identifying skilled fighters. Prepare yourself. Okay, status, uh, full health, let's participate in a uh, battle royale, yes. We'll be more active this time, try to kill as many as possible. Everyone against everyone, I believe. Fuck you! Kills someone. I want to be the one killing them. Four seconds remaining. Oof. Had a victory. Good. Accurate attacks and able to dodge all. 
has some potential. Alright, it went better than the last time at least. Leave it killed one too. Uh, we got some items. Alright, take them. Status. We didn't lose much health. Let's participate again. Uh, we can't take the other. Fuck that. We're too. Let's return to the stables then. You defeated my gladiator quite soundly. Oh, do not be mistaken. I hold no grudge against you. Had my gladiator not fattened up on barley, then perhaps. Then I rate. It seems you have some degree of courage. Ah, me. I am Bro Brosius, the Lannister here, and free man. Once I was a gladiator, like you. Now, after winning many prizes and earning much renown, I am rich, powerful, and free. You do not have the, have the look of a woman who will spend her life in slavery either. Perhaps you would be well served to remember my name. Farewell. Magiria says, Ah, Callista, but Brosius, you have met him already, is that so? He does not waste time then, I suppose it has always been so. He's a powerful man, with an excellent eye for gladiators. If he takes a liking to you, you will benefit. Very well, let us depart. Alright, we earned some money there. Day 4. Or training. Instructor, good. I see my lessons have done great service in the arena. All to them, and you shall. Today shall be your last day of elementary training. I shall beat my lessons into you. Guard mode. Hold the R button to go into guard mode. Yeah. Doing nothing during guard mode can be a vital technique. Can be a vital technique to help you survive. God mode successful. Good job staying still. You can put yourself in more danger by running around. Sometimes you have to wait for the best opportunity to move. Strafing. Hold the R button and move with the analog stick to strafe. You won't move very fast, but you can move without throwing your back to the enemy. Yeah, I already know this stuff. Uh, strafing successful. By strafing, hold the R button and press the X button to reset the camera position. Pressing the <coughs> circle and square buttons will rotate the camera. Dodge. While you are in guard mode, you will dodge automatically when an enemy attacks. Even if you are attacking, pressing the R button at the right time can allow you to dodge. Dodge attacks by holding the R button while being attacked. Okay. Dodge successful. While dodging, you can sometimes hit the wall behind you or trip over equipment on the ground. Also, for a few moments uh, right after you dodge, your stamina will not recover. Hold the R button and press the L button to parry. See, they should hold the R button and press the L button. Doing that at the right time will deflect an enemy attack and provide you with an opening for a counter attack. See. Yeah, I should do it as a specific. Uh, when he does that, I manage to parry, but it needs to be at the right moment. It's very difficult. It's easy to click too fast. Good. I did it three times, but that is kind of difficult to do. Parry successful. Charge attacks can be par can't be parried, so you have to watch out. Also, your stamina will not recover while you are parrying, so be careful of that. Pay out everything you have learned. Okay, combat training. All that remains is to practice what you have learned. From me, what you, you are capable of. Come. Fucker. Yeah. 
Det är inte även en shield nej, for some reason. Failed. I think this will be a bit difficult. Ung, can it be that I grow too old for this? Um, it seems you can choose to be called by a nickname now. Simply choose one you desire. Gaining the audience favor is the most expedient path to freedom. Do not forget that I, that. I wish you luck. <coughs> Status, a full health. Train a bit. Didn't go very well. I did that. in the game. Just a bit difficult to get used to them. Don't believe we can have AI versus AI. I was wrong. But I believe I could fight my own character, I believe place my own character under AI control and fight against myself. And if I have two characters I could have them fight each other. I would control one and the other would be controlled by the AI. I also believe in, in two versus two battles you could uh, have uh, AI control almost everyone in the battle. You could in, in theory have an allied a AI fighting uh, another character that is also your character. Training. Okay, let's go to the world map. Whisper of Figuria. Figuria. Today's event shall be the Whisper of Figuria. It's hosted by the financial commissioner Vipsanius. Vipsanius. Vipsanius, however, is rarely in Rome and leaves the managing of his affairs. This event included to his wife, Madame Elis Elisaveta. Elisabeth is rarely seen in public, however, so I know little about her. Of course, that matters little to you. <coughs> the proprietor of an event is of little concern to the gladiator. You need only to do what the gladiator does best. Now, to the arena. Let's participate in the survival. Yes, we'll participate. Everyone versus us. I don't like when they can attack me from from back like that.
almost died. Didn't go too well. Accurate attacks unable to dodge all simply disappointing. Yeah, we almost died. We are really blooded. Learn new skill, wolf fang. Nice. Skill panel. Don't know what wolf fang does, but we will replace push with wolf fang. Push. Wolf fang. It's a stronger push, I right? see. And then, uh, as for our status, only 25 in he health. We will heal our wounds. Hmm, this is bad. One treatment. Yes, treat. You haven't the money. I'll treat you as much as I can for the what money you have. Hmm. Treat. Was a perfect operation. All right. Then we will fight in the battle royale. Everyone against everyone. Like the, that, the battles are on a time limit. Good, we took out one guy. All right, greatest hit chain. Five, a great attacks can't evade very well. Item, dual gladius, the best. A5 Magiria says, Callisto, ladies here to see you. They want to judge by appearances, she seems to be of high birth. <coughs> she seems vicious to ask for a favor of you. How did you possibly become acquainted with such a woman? No matter. Her manner says she is an aristocrat, so you would do well to behave yourself. Your Callisto has observed your fight in yesterday's event. In person you seem far stronger approved. There, there is a task I wish for you to complete. Do as I ask and I shall bestow upon you a reward fitting of your service. First, however, I must determine whether or not you are deserving of my trust. You are familiar with the Whisper of Egeria, I assume. This is the event hosted by Vipsanius, in which you participated yesterday. I shall prepare for you a special match in that event. You have to kill your opponent. Matters not if your opponent should yield. This is what I, this is what I wish to see, not mercy. If you are reprimanded, reprimanded for doing so, 
do not say you did so by my request. Do you understand? I see that you do. Farewell then. Look forward to, to our next meeting. Okay. Skill panel. No new skills. I have new stuff here. Right. Strength. Endurance. Okay. World map, yes. So I became quite good at this game previously. Uh, might be more difficult now. We can do the survival again. We need to survive the battle. Well, we lost a lot of health. It, uh, I didn't lose that much health. Let's check the armor. Precious new. Twelve hundred ninety-three. Okay. stuff weapons shields helmets arm like gauntlets and such By this, now we have five hundred sixty three. Do not have enough man. 
करना है विच इज ओल्ड सेल आइटम्स सेल सम आइटम्स तो ग्रेडियस Oh, we have a new field. This is better than the one we are carrying currently. Need to switch out that one. Okay. Need to go back. this I'd have on um, change the field I have this field instead it's better Buy some new stuff. The armor. We'll sell some more items first. Sell this one. Yes. We won't sell that weapon. We might need two weapons at some point. This looks samurai -ish. Anyway, rig it manic. Beast arm. Sector Manis Rigid Manis I think we'll go for this one. Yes. For this. Should sell this one and uh, yeah, we should sell this one. for that one okay kind of want this one 
We'll have to wait a little bit. We'll have the money. Go to the item box again. And you. Arm. Peace. All sector manis. She looks a little bit cooler. Also look like this. Gers. I managed to stand between them. Kill two, almost kill three. Greater greatest hit chain ten. Accurate attacks, unable to dodge at all. Well, still better than before, I believe. I just failed to dodge. Learn new skill, body blow. Nice. Oh, a new gear. Cestus, really good piece. Then we have some other stuff. For the leather shield. Okay. Cast us. Yeah, I think we want that. No cure. Yes. Status, we have a good status to skill panel. Ah, so smash. We body blow instead. Change trait. Body blow is triangle. One, two is circle. Back thrust is X. And the wolf fang is. Square, okay. Armor. Sell some stuff, maybe. Sell this one. That is thing can be sold. Can buy something new. Get a 
way, yeah. Green guard. Just buy this. I will buy it. Okay, that's pretty costly, but. Reason. Pastus is like uh, kind of knuckle. She's carrying weird weapon. A very rare weapon. Okay, this is her new look. I don't like the weapon, but it's rare. It's better than the sword, but it doesn't look as nice. There, no more shows. Time to stable. Mercurius says, Make yourself presentable. Pomponius wishes to see you. He's a senator and an important man. See that you do not offend him. So, you are the gladiator who caught my eyes. What is your name? You will be Callisto of Germania. Ah, yes, Germania, Finland has given birth to men outstanding gladiators. <coughs> I have seen many fighters in my time, but Callisto, where you move in the arena, one could almost call you an artist. I am fond of encouraging gladiators in whom I see potential, so that I may see them mature into something even greater. My expectations for you are quite high. He may know your name now, but do not think that entitles you to arrest. It's time we left. Rank up, nice. Day six. Reinforce ability. You have eighteen points. Status My room Statistics Okay Very quick and accurate Save the game. And we'll go to the world map immediately. Callisto, you will be entered in a celebratory game for gladiators who have advanced to the Tertius Palace. It is meant to be an. Uh, it is meant to be a celebration. Yes, there will be gladiators from other Lanista there as well. Some fools will, no doubt, lose their lives, but I need you to fill my pockets with coin. See that you never allow your guard to fall. Word of Quirinius. Quirinus. Great Colosseum. Nice. So we'll enter a Colosseum now. We are stronger than ever. I 
med att det var lot of money. Vi vill enter the promotion test. Let's participate. What is this? They expect a woman to challenge me. Take issue with my presence. The emperor himself is in the audience. I had prepared myself for the worst. Now I can scarcely bring myself to care. Yeah, I believe this guy is difficult. I believe I won against a real difficult guy in the previous playthrough where I played with one character for a bit. I played longer than now. You, I will gain no enjoyment fr from this fight should I should it end too soon. So I shall not put my full strength behind my blade. Our Emperor is watching. See that you make this battle one that remains in the memory. In his memory. Citizens of Rome have gathered here together this day. The, 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 the Tertius Palace Callisto, a mysterious gladiator from and the rising star Gulem. Gulemas, a hopeful novice. Okay, what glorious fears of arms shall we see today? Glorious feats of arms. The game is kind of difficult because it's uh, easy to forget the button for uh, special moves. And this guy has a lot of health too. He stole my helmet too. I really like that I don't do not have any sword. Good, we have a helmet again. Ah, uh, we didn't win. Feated. Wonder what will happen now. We have two retries left. Uh, he is a bit too difficult. Okay. I 
don't believe we'll win this. We could try again. We introduce you to the new we introduce to you now gladiators who have reached the level of Turtles Palace. Through sand and blood they crawled to be here before you. Let us give them a warm welcome. I believe I won this battle with the other character. But uh, we will probably get game over or something. I have to load the save. Fuck you. went worse than the last time. His health bar hasn't even been damaged. Yeah, I don't like weapons that are not swords. Uh, we have no chance. I don't like that I lost my old character. I had won a battle like this. Anyway, we'll try again. See what happens if we lose. This weapon sucks. Yeah, we need a sword. Can't play it without a sword. Try again. See what happens if we get game over. We'll then we'll restart the game. Nice, I could uh, could attack multiple times like that. I didn't know that. Uh, 
that weapon sucks because you need close range. It's impossible to hit them. Game over. I can't have a weapon like that. We will sell it if we get it another time. Okay, but this is Gladiator Begins. But of course, load the game. Check items. Yeah, we need a different weapon. Train. That guy in the arena had too much health too. the parry very well uh, for it to succeed and I'm too fast sometimes Training session is used so we can uh, get used to the buttons. I don't believe we earn any skills or anything by doing this. Or any stats or anything. Oh, he lost his sword. Very 
good. Sucks what happened to my old character, it was really good. Here's a new look, by the way. Achilles Palace Clothe. Clothe B. Then we can go to the world map. Clist, you will be entered in us. Yeah, we will write that. Probably lose again. Dissipate. We'll try again. We'll probably lose. He's like a boss. Fucker. Can't win. I, I think I give up, and maybe I will replay to this point with a different character. I will read up what is the best strategy to defeat that guy. Yeah, I may have placed the stats differently. You know, item box. No, this the stats. I might have placed them differently to have a chance against that guy. Maybe less strength, and less endurance and more vitality. As we have almost no vitality. Feels like he kills us all the time. Uh, so I managed to defeat him with the other character, but I probably did different choices there. Okay, but... Um, Yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll return to the stables. Ok.
Okay, I need to participate more. Okay, but we'll end here. See ya later. Bye.